Hey guys, so a couple years ago, I trained myself to become a morning person. I used to sleep in, I used to kind of wake up just about the same time as the kids, and it was not working. I was craving more me time, I was craving some time to get my head on straight, I felt like there wasn't enough time in the day to get all the things I need to get done done, uh, and I was struggling huge. So becoming a morning person, I have to tell you, has literally changed the way that I show up. And I know it's like a big claim, but it has changed my life. So today in this video, I thought that I would share with you what my morning routine is and um, just the things that I do most days. It's not every single day that I, I don't do all of these steps every single day, but most days to get my head on straight because doing these things has literally changed how I show up as a wife. It has changed how I show up as a stepmom, changed how I show up as a mom, as an entrepreneur. I'm more productive. Like the benefits are crazy. So especially for the stepmoms watching this video, I fully believe that, you know, having that time to wake up, get your head on straight, plan how you're going to tackle the extra stressors that may be coming this day can change the game for you. So I'm going to share what I do with you. So the first step is obviously coffee. Um, typically I will set my coffee maker um, on a timer the night before so I have a nice fresh hot pot of coffee waiting for me when I come downstairs in the morning. It actually is a huge incentive for me so when my alarm goes off and I want to press snooze I'm like no there's this delicious pot of coffee downstairs waiting for me. Okay, so the next thing that I typically do is I journal. I have a journal that I have gotten up chapters. Just love something with some, you know, inspirational whatever on the front. And the things that I journal are different every single day. Sometimes I do all the things I'm about to tell you and other days I just do a couple. So I've taken bits and pieces of my morning routine from people like Rachel Hollis and Jenna Kutcher and books like The Morning Miracle and I'm gonna link all those for you guys um, in the description below but I think it's important to do something that works for you. You need to find a morning routine that inspires you. You don't want to feel like you're doing something just because someone in some book said to do it. That being said, I do think it's important to listen to people who are thriving and who are, you know, trying out things that are working in their life and, you know, are obviously success stories to see if it can make a change in your life. So want to try out a new tactic in your morning routine or a new exercise, um, definitely try it give it time, and then kind of make your changes from there. So when it comes to journaling, I get a lot of questions about what I write in my journal. So the first thing is, and this is from Rachel Hollis, I write out my big, huge goals in present time. So instead of saying like, you know, I wish I could travel here, um, I will say I travel here every year. Uh, or travel to Mexico every year or something like that. So I talk about my business, I talk about my life, I talk about my relationships, all of my big ass dreams. And guys, they are big ass dreams. So when you are setting goals, don't set small goals. I will say I have a best selling book, I'm a best selling author. I, I will say I get paid to speak on stages. I will say that I have uh, the number one platform for stepmoms. I want to have those things. Like those are my big goals. And I'm not afraid to say them. And I'm not afraid to say them to myself. I'm not afraid to say them to other people too. Second thing is, is gratitude. Every day I will write out about five to ten things that I'm grateful for. So it could be as simple as having a nice cup of coffee in the morning with no little children speaking my name. I really enjoy that and some days I'm grateful for that space. Other times it will be the great family night we had the night before or it will be something that we have planned. It's can be the most simple, simple things. So writing down all the things that you're grateful for every morning really gets your head on straight and makes you think about all the things that are going right in your life versus the things that maybe will be a stressor throughout the day. The next thing I typically will write down, and I got actually this one from Danielle Laporte, and I'll link her as well. How do I want to feel at the end of the day? And I know that sounds like kind of fluffy, crazy, weird question to ask yourself, but how do I want to feel at the end of the day? Do I want to feel productive? Do I want to feel calm? Do I want to feel in control? Like think about how you want to feel that day because the way Danielle puts it is that our goals are actually associated with a feeling that achieving those goals will give us. So think about how do you want to feel in your life and write it down. Some days I want to feel productive and in control and uh, like a girl boss or whatever. Other days I want to feel relaxed and at peace and, and calm. 
So it really depends on what you have going on that day and what's going on in your life. So the next thing that I do is I write out my to-do list. So I am a huge fan of digital or online calendars and task management systems. I run my business through Asana. I use my calendar on my iPhone telling me all the things I have going on that day. But I also really like pen and paper. I got a nice little thin Sharpie and I write out my to-do list. So on the to-do list, I will write out my work tasks. I will write out my um, wife tasks is what I like to call them or just like things that I need to do around the house. And at the very top, I will always write my big goals at the very top of the page because I think the more you're reminded of things you want to achieve and what you're working towards in life, A, you know, there is a lot of power in the mind and I'm not going to get into that because it's not really my jam, but it is very true. You've got to put your goals out there to the universe, but it reminds you what you're trying to achieve and how you want to feel at the end of the day. And then I just feel a lot more organized. The other thing I like to do, and I do this typically when we are in a stressful situation in our life, I like to journal that out before the day starts. So what I mean by that is I will think about my stress or think about what's going on and just write about it write about what's going on. So I will take the stressor, write it out, and then I'll ask myself questions like, okay, is there anything that I can do to minimize the impact that this has on my life right now? How can I change my reaction so that again, it minimizes the impact it has on me and my family? How am I contributing to the stressor? Is there anything that I can do differently? How am I going to react today if this happens? So all the things that are happening in your life, I really am a huge, huge, believer that it's important to be proactive and plan your reactions ahead of time as much as possible. And this has helped me manage my anxiety. This has helped me um, manage stressors in my life. This has helped me plan my reactions so that I don't get, you know, emotionally overwhelmed throughout the day. Because, you know, I think that all the stepmoms watching this video and even anyone, when something happens and a curveball comes or a stressor hits, you almost feel like you've been punched in the gut and you can't think about anything else. So the more proactive you can be about how you're going to handle these stressors, the better. The other thing that's really important when you're journaling these things is to ask yourself, like, does this really matter? And I know that I say this all the time, but it's so important, guys. So many of the things that we think in the moment are huge deals, like bedtime or something with the ex or uh, having kids help out around the house or, you know, the way we're feeling. And I'm not discrediting any of that. But when you ask yourself, like, what, am I going to be sitting on my, you know, deathbed or am I going to be in my rocking chair at 95 years old? happy that I spent my time and energy worrying about this? Like ask yourself those questions, like really play the long game. So journaling really helps me to do that. Okay, after I am done all of that, I go into the office and I get work done. I get as much work done as I can get done. And before my daughter wakes up, before all the kids wake up, before my husband comes down and the day starts, I found that running this platform, um, if I do not get some work done before the day starts, there's just not enough hours in the day. So that is what I do now. Say hi. Say morning. Morning. Morning.